How's it going, guys? Very easy question for dermatology for step one and two. I recognize some of you will instantaneously know the answer here. That's fine. Not meant to be an overly dramatic clip. Uh, I nevertheless will discuss some high yield points regarding these answer choices you might not be aware of. So before I get started, why don't I be my frequent asshole, tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram, recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now let's start the clip. 26-year-old woman, two-week history of mildly itchy rash in her trunk. She's afebrile. Vaccination history is up to date. She is sexually active with one partner with whom she consistently uses barrier contraception. Physical examination shows a macular papular rash in the trunk. There is no palms or soles involvement. We have this image here. Question wants to know the most appropriate topical pharmacologic therapy. So let's just walk through the answer choices. Choice A, clindamycin, wrong fucking answer. 50S ribosomal subunit inhibitor inhibits translation. I have never seen this as a correct answer on any NBME material used topically, okay? In theory, it could be used for acne vulgaris. U.S. only wants you to know for family medicine in particular that topical tretinoin, a vitamin A compound, is used first for acne, followed by benzoyl peroxide. Then in theory, we could use topical clindamycin, then oral te tetracycline, then oral isotretinoin last resort, okay? We could do a lengthy discussion on acne treatment and factoids regarding all of those medications I just mentioned, but the point is, it's the wrong fucking answer. Choice B, clotrimazole, wrong answer, but nevertheless high yield for you assimilate that you know that this is an azole that's used topically. Uh, same with my uh, myconazole, okay? So clotrimazole and myconazole are the uh, azoles that are used for tinea corporis, okay? Ringworm, dermatophytes. They will show you the image, then the answer where you say, okay, easy, just tinea corporis. Answer, clotrimazole, not complicated, right? And azoles inhibit 14 methylase, uh, which converts uh, lanostral to ergostral, all right? Lengthy discussion we could do on azoles. Point is, it's the wrong fucking answer. Choice C, hydrocortisone, topical steroid, wrong answer. Uh, but you should know this could be used for plaque psoriasis. So psoriasis, we use uh, topical agents first. Uh, vitamin D compound, calcipotriene, hydrocortisone, the steroid, as well as coal tar. If topical agents fail, we can use oral agents. U.S. Millie wants you to know methotrexate is used first for systemic psoriasis. Made a prior YouTube clip on that, as well as oral uh, acetratin, which is a strong vitamin A compound. Choice D, lindane, wrong answer. So lindane uh, and permethrin, okay, they're both wrong answers, but uh, U.S. Millie wants you to know that permethrin topically is the treatment for scabies, sarcoptus scabii as well as lice, pediculosis, okay? Permethrin is what they want topically. Lindane apparently is an antiquated uh, treatment that can also be used for scabies and lice, but it's more toxic. I've never seen it as a correct answer on any NBME material, okay? It's permethrin that they want. And pediculosis for lice, as I said, sophisticated terminology, you'll see that on family medicine forums, like pediculosis capitis, head lice, pediculosis corpus, body lice, okay? Permethrin is what they want. They're going to show you a picture of a dude's hands, and you're going to see red dots on the hands, and they're going to tell you he lived in a homeless shelter for four months, topical steroids didn't work. Uh, and then the answer is just permethrin. Okay, you need to know it's scabies, linear burrows. It's the wrong fucking answer. Selenium, wrong answer, but very high yield for you, Assimile, that you know this is used for tinea versa color, malassezia furfur. Okay, so it's going to cause, it's a fungus that causes hypopigmented lesions on the shoulder blades slash trunk generally in patients who live in uh, hot, humid climates. And uh, they, so they'll just show you the rash, and then the answer is just selenium, okay? Well, not rash technically, but the fungal infection, and then selenium is what we use. Selenium, selsin blue, can be used for uh, in shampoos for uh, dandruff, okay? Seborrheic dermatitis, so weeping papules scaling in the, head, in the hairline. Uh, that's uh, selenium shampoo, okay? Tretinoin, wrong answer, as I already mentioned. This can be used first line for acne, okay? Don't confuse, and that's topical. Don't confuse that with oral isotretinoin, which is last resort uh, for nodulocystic acne. You need to do a pregnancy test before commencing that. The answer is no specific therapy indicated. Diagnosis here is pityriasis rosea, okay? It's a viral infection caused by HHV7, or sometimes six. So HHV6 actually causes roseola in children, but HHV7, many resources say it's just a placeholder virus, doesn't cause anything, causes pityriasis rosea. 
which is going to be this herald patch. You see on this uh, maculopapular rash here, there's this larger erythematous ellipse. Okay, you notice that, and then there's smaller lesions. Well, herald patch is where the rash starts from, and then it classically ascends up the trunk slash shoulder blades onto uh, the shoulders, and that's supposed to resemble colloquially a Christmas tree distribution. It's self-limiting, okay? Classically, women in their 20s, uh, the rash will last uh, one to eight weeks, five weeks on average. 25% of patients describe it as uh, itchy, okay? I mean, variable presentation, but the US Assembly is going to show you this image here, and then you just need to know diagnosis, pedoriasis rosea, or no specific therapy indicated, okay? Uh, topical uh, antihistamines, for instance, could be used to uh, help with itch, but uh, the literature says no specific therapy is indicated, and U.S. Simile doesn't ask any specific therapy for it. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.